everybody, this is Amy. Welcome back to my channel and today we are doing a human pup tries new treats video because I have a lot of people who ask me about um, treats and trick training and so we're going to do a couple videos about that today. Uh, so I am trying some new treats that some I've had before, most I haven't had before and I'm going to be rating them on a scale from 1 to 5 and Sir is going to be giving me treats and I'm going to knock on here. Uh, so those one, two, three, four, five. One is least favorite. Five is the most favorite. I think we have way too many treats. We have at least a dozen probably that we're going to be trying out today. So yeah, hopefully you guys find it enjoyable. We're going to go ahead and get started. Let's go, Bob. Ah! Easy, girl. Easy. 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 All right. So the very first treat we have. Uh, so these are chips. Now the important thing with chips for doggos. Doggos love chips. Um, is they should be salt free. Uh, you can actually find a lot of chips and salt free and the reason for that is too much salt, especially when you're doing training, uh, it just it makes you very very thirsty and that takes you out of good headspace. So these uh, we have some salt free blue corn chips and some salt free uh, I believe these are sweet potatoes. Um, these sweet potato are carrot. sweet potato and carrot. So we are good. Her. So this is about how much I would give for like just like if she did a trick and did good at it, she'd get about like that much. You know, again, you don't want to give too much, otherwise you get overwhelmed. <clears throat> mm, okay, it's a good baseline. So that was the number three on the blue corn chips. So definitely doable. And I would definitely consider using those for training again. Um, but, you know, if, you, if you've got a high value trick you want. So this is the, I believe it's mm -hmm. the sweet potato or is it sweet potato or carrot? Carrot. Carrot. All right. Wow. She really likes those. Uh, okay, so next up we have on kind of our... Uh, more savory treats. We have, uh, so this is a nut cheese. This is a cashew nut cheese. Uh -huh. And Evie is uh, lactose intolerant and vegetarian. So, um, this, it has very special limitations on what I can like eat as a pup because it's like I can't have like canned meat or jerky or like kind of more traditional mm -hmm. dog style treats so these are like good substitutes if you're vegetarian or yeah. if you're playing a more veggie focused animal like a rabbit or a bird or something like that well you said you can't eat jerky you can eat this ah! you know so this is uh satan and uh hail satan um well you'll i guess you'll put a link down below yeah to, to what this is yeah this we're is... gonna have like a full picture that shows all of these yeah, treats yeah. like in their packaging and then I'll also like list everything in the description too yeah so i'm excited to find out what evie thinks about this because she does like thai pe or peanut sauce and ah! this is thai peanut flavored seitan jerky and then finally some marcona almonds um i love these oh yeah oh yeah <laughs> Tree. no it's a five um and so i mostly got these for me but we're gonna need evie they're probably a little too salty, but we'll see. All right. Let's start with almond. Yeah. yeah. Too salty. All right. Too salty. Uh, well, here. Um, so one of the downsides for me as a trainer is this is this is looking like kind of hard to tear up so this is like a really big chunk for training um but we'll see we'll let evie use teeth mm -hmm. drum roll waiting it's looking good four that's actually really good i would consider definitely having these treats on hand um if we we're doing something maybe outdoors uh for some um just you know nice big playtime or like a high recall treat so mm -hmm. and then here we are there's a cashew nut cheese Okay, and next up, yeah, it's okay. <laughs> you, I mean, I'm sure the people who may and aren't watching, you can rate it a one if we don't like. Would you like some water, pup? Yeah. And then having water, especially, and this is one of the reasons you don't go with salty treats, 
is um, because you'll need to drink quite a bit. Yeah. Uh, next up is, I think this is called Summer Day or something like that is the brand, and these are just peanut butter crackers. So this I would probably want to break in half if I was doing tree training. And previously, if Evie's been full or stuff like that, we've actually negotiated that uh, she would get like a fake treat, but she would consider it a real treat and not a bamboozle. Um, and that's just to moderate the amount of calories she's taking in because it's uh, like, especially at big events, it's not fun to, to be over calorated. Oh, okay. Yeah, I mean, those are, those are pretty good treats. Yeah. Um, so this is a cashew cocoa uh, meal bar. It's like oatmeal and cashew and coconut and it's all vegan. Um, it's pretty hearty, like this is definitely like what you could take on a trail or something like that, but let's see. I got a nice big chocolate chip in there. <clears throat> mm. oh. <laughs> I need to keep some of those in the car for even eating food. Yeah, all right. Uh, so three, not bad. And then we have some bear granola. Ah. The name of this we'll we'll link it we'll, we'll send a picture but these are little granola bites amazing for like dog treats uh for like human dog treats but again uh a little bit on the big side there we go there, let's go up good girl mm -hmm. also make a uh, chocolate flavored version of that, but speaking of chocolate... Coco And again, like as a trainer, this is... my hands are getting sticky from this, so not ideal, but... Those are coppers really like it. Oh yeah, that one was an easy one. The... the... gummy bunnies. And the gummy... The peely, the really peely. You want me to go get that? Yeah, I think we need that. Um, <clears throat> really peely. <laughs> Corgi is like, I'm done out here. <gasps> okay, you almost forgot about these. Ah. We'll save these. Very end. Okay, so next up. We have some dried papaya, which I like because it's very low naturally in sugar. It's really good for bunnies. It's amazing for bunnies. Uh, it makes them taste delicious. Uh, <laughs> he's like, I will murder him if he hurts any of my bunnies. Um, uh, dried coconut. Uh, Evie has a very complicated relationship with coconut, um, mm -hmm. but she's definitely a fan. And then finally, uh, just some um, dried, Cherry. yeah, just dried cherries by, um, it's uh, whatever Safeway has. Mm -hmm. All right, so let's do coconut. Who's a good girl? Ah. Oh, we like that. That's a good happy wiggle. Mm -hmm. Nice. Um, and I really like this for handling. I mean, it, it's very dry on the hands. It breaks up very easily, so I can control the amount Evie gets. And these are, I like the... Just personally, like the papaya, because it's it's already a very good size. Here we go. All right. Go. <clears throat> All right. And finally. So already I'm hanging like from this. What I would do is I probably, I would have a mix of the dried, um, carrot chip. the carrot chips and of the dried cherries. And that way that gives a nice mix of different flavors. So, nothing, so it's not like one way or the other. And that would be a really good way of loading a treat pouch for a day's um, <laughs> trick training. So here we go. All right, and then we have a little uh, chocolate bar uh, with some pretzel in it. Uh, so this is this is loaded with sugar, 
And if this is all you use uh, for trick training, prepare for the like, most wound up, <laughs> uh, non-attention paying pupper around. But again, it's important to have like treats we really, really like for really important tricks or like recall or stuff like that. Mm. Oh yeah. That was my favorite when I was trying these earlier. All right, and this, this is very special. So this is Evie's Scotty dog. She always has a supply here. Um, and it means she's a very good girl. Um, so we'll save this one for the last. We'll find out. If she gets it at the end, I mean, she's been a very good girl. Um, bunny fruit snacks, gummy bears work too. I actually, I buy these by the case because these go to like my aftercare supplies. And this is like, if you're going to a, you know, an event or something like that, grab a handful of these, toss them in a bag. You're like set for like um, food-based aftercare stuff. So, and a lot of times like, but I'm like, oh, I don't really need aftercare. And you're like, well, I've got gummy, gummy bears. And they're like, yes, it will take that. So here we go. What color are we getting? Oh, I think that is, uh, I don't know. That may be the strawberry. Ah. Here we go. All right, go pop. <clears throat> Yeah, this is strawberry, cherry, and raspberry flavors. It's cherry, yeah. Um, and these are nice. Um, they get a little sticky, but they're they're pretty individual size, and they're easy to, to break up. I would say, honestly, like the ideal snack size for a pup of Evie's size is about half of a gummy bear. Like papaya size. Yeah, yeah exactly. Papaya is almost like perfect. And the dried cherries are actually a pretty good size too, because they're dried concentrated. And this is really cool. Evie pointed this out um, when she was, for some reason, looking at mm -hmm. Annie's homegrown selection. Um, but this I is wanted the, to yeah. know if they had dairy-free macaroni and cheese. Yeah, and then Evie saw this. It's like we should try that. And I really like this too because this is extremely portable. Like. Um, if if we're in an event or we're doing something outdoors and I want like training stuff uh, to use uh, with Evie, like this is this is nice, ready to go in our right package, and you just sort of tear off what you want. To you're like, good girl. There we go. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's a good one. Evie's been a very good girl. She gets her Scotty dog. Yeah, that's what's in Evie's um, good girl um, treat uh, treat container. Good pup. Such a good pup. Okay, everybody, that was it. All of the ridiculous amount of treats that we tried. Again, I will put names and or links if I can find it to all the treats that we tried down below in the description box. You can also find links to related videos, um, just general information about my channel, my social media, my Patreon if you want to support this channel and see more videos. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, give this video a thumbs up if you liked it, and leave any questions or comments down below. So until next time, have a great rest of your day and a great rest of your week. Bye-bye.